Hi, let's continue to introduce the possibilities of MRP Easy. In this video, we'll show you how to manage the production process and more specifically, how to add, dynamically reschedule and carry out a manufacturing order. Let's go to production planning. Under production schedule, we see the color-coded calendar of both manufacturing orders and individual operations. To see what each color represents, simply click on the Quick Help button, which shows the individual help for every page inside MRP Easy. With the Choose Options button, it is possible to select how much information gets displayed in the calendar. Production schedule can also be viewed as a Gantt chart. Let's create a new manufacturing order for 50 tables. Here, we are shown the start and end dates of the production. We can make further adjustments by going inside the manufacturing order, for example, if we wish to change the default workers for this particular instance, or add workstations to speed up the manufacturing order. But for now, let's confirm the suggested information and hit Save. Going back to the production schedule, we see that our new order has now been added to the calendar. If for some reason we need to reschedule an entire manufacturing order or even an individual operation, we can do that simply by clicking and dragging it on a new date. The system takes the availability of the equipment into account and only allows to drag to an available spot so there is no chance for accidental double booking. The changes are instantly reflected in all charts and calendars. If we're not interested in real-time reporting and only wish to confirm that a manufacturing order went according to the plan, we can simply click Finish Production. For real-time reporting, on the other hand, we would need to click on Go to Production. Here we can report about the start and finish of manufacturing operations. On the same page, it is also possible to report about the material consumption. Materials can be consumed either one by one or according to the number of finished products. A user with sufficient user rights, for example, a production manager, can do this on behalf of others. If workers need to do the reporting by themselves, their user rights can be set up so that they only see a special internet kiosk interface. Let's see how the operations are displayed and reported on the kiosk mode. Going back to the regular mode, we can immediately see the reporting done by workers. To mark the completion of a manufacturing order, click on Finish Production. If by this moment there are still some materials that have not been used, the system gives the option to either consume them or release them back to stock.
Thanks for watching.